Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Our goal in this question is to solve for the value of x over y plus y over x. Given that logarithm of x plus y over 3 equals logarithm of x plus logarithm of y all over 2. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Given that logarithm of x plus y over 3 equals logarithm of x plus logarithm of y over 2, and our goal is to solve for the value of x over y plus y over x. Now, how are we going to answer this kind of question? First thing to do is to recall this identity. That if we have logarithm of n plus logarithm of m, it is equivalent to logarithm of n times m. Therefore, this logarithm of x plus logarithm of y can be written as logarithm of x times y. Now, let's multiply both sides by 2. And let's use another property of logarithm. If we have p times logarithm of n, it is equivalent to logarithm of n raised to the power of p. Therefore, the left-hand side of this equation can be written as logarithm of x plus y over 3 raised to 2. Now, by equality, we can say that x plus y over 3 raised to 3 must be equal to xy. Now, let's simplify. x plus y over 3 quantity squared is equivalent to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared all over 9. Now, let's multiply 9 on both sides. And then, let's subtract 2xy on both sides. The right-hand side now is equivalent to 9xy minus 2xy or simply 7xy. Now, let's divide all terms by x times y because we want the value of x over y plus y over x. Now, take note that we have one factor of x on the numerator and one factor of x on the denominator. So, we can cancel out one factor of x on the numerator and on the denominator. So, this will give us x over y. Do the same thing. We have one factor of y on the numerator and cancel out one factor of y on the denominator. So this becomes y over x. Now, we have a factor of xy on the numerator and a factor of xy on the denominator so we can cancel both of them and this is just 7. Therefore, the value of x over y plus y over x must be equal to 7. And as always, we are... Done.